We met in high school in the first class and we became friends because he didn't attend school that much and he wanted my Polish notes. And after that we started talking and became really good friends, I can say. Yeah. <laughs> AI was a hot topic during high school and it started to take our interest. It was like a thing we were curious of, but never really get into it. Artificial intelligence is a technology that will fuel economic growth of the future. In order to make it happen, we actually need to prepare ourselves for that. We first started to interest about AI when we became a part of the program. Intel AI for Youth program, it's vast curriculum around AI readiness. This is simply a way to equip secondary school students, even without coding background, with all that is needed in order to expand inclusion and digital readiness in the area of AI. At the beginning we were told that, hey, there are social problems and AI can be a solution for them. We had to think of something that we could program, maybe implement, so not only we want students to create projects that matter, but also we want them to be sensitive to the needs of society and be able to use AI as a technology for that purpose. At the beginning, I think that we've discovered that the problems that we have are not as significant and maybe we should uh, look on the bigger picture. And this is when we've uh, come across Deaf Community. So we came up with a program that would translate gestures into text. Kevin came up with the idea that we can implement letters as a static gestures to spell out the words. Okay, that's a good idea. Intel is partnering with governments around the world to deliver and scale this course among existing education institutions and infrastructure. We have identified that the AI-based program uh, is something that, that we have to have uh, as soon as possible. If we don't invest in AI skills, uh, we will definitely lose so many opportunities, especially for new generation. So that's why we have decided to jump into this program and also engage many young people and creative teachers. Ważne jest to, żebyśmy lekcje rozpoczynali od projektu, prototypu i my pracujemy metodą, która nazywa się design thinking poprzez stworzone przeze mnie materiały w postaci gier, quizów w formie metody WebQuest są w stanie bardzo szybko zrozumieć na czym polega machine learning czy też właśnie sztuczna inteligencja. The whole program has been rolled out in 2019 in three pilot countries. That was India, South Korea and Poland. We had a number of great projects and actually proof points that this curriculum really not only works, but it's very encouraging for young people to start learning about AI. We wanted it to be something that can help people to show that we need to accommodate uh, deaf people in society. And this is when we concluded that uh, we can make a useful program, but uh, mainly something that is going to pinpoint a problem that is much bigger than most of us even think of different people have different hands, so our neutral network also has to know a little bit that not uh, every hand looks the same. So it was quite a challenge for us to make it uh, as good as it is right now. I'm glad to say that, that uh, Poland was part of uh, uh, this uh, initial program with Intel and we have already created many good practices and uh, experiences that we can share, not only uh, for other European countries, but also globally. The whole program started with 500 students in Poland in three schools, in Gdańsk and in Poznan. And in two years, the program has grown to over 100,000 students across the world. The young people are eager to learn more and to see how they can implement it in the future. We just need more time to learn. We'll definitely hype. We want to uh, continue our studies to learn, to understand the topic, to get new ideas. There is a path of AI that is just right for you.